It's 45 people in here, only nine likes, so y'all better get it together before I start talking. Hey, Abby. I wasn't gonna go live, y'all, but it is what it is. Let me tell y'all about my ex, or let me, let me warn you about my ex. Where Christina? I don't know where she is. She at home, but meaning like, is she in the live? I don't think so. At least not yet. People be getting their notifications late. It's 50 people in here, 26 likes. I'm going to tell you once and I ain't going to tell you no more. If you in here being nosy or messy, get out. I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with y'all today. And if you ask me some dumb shit, get out. Um, uh, Vibing with Kiki, uh, you must be new. Or you must ain't been watching because that situation been done and over with. Um, it's 54 people in here. If you trolling, get out. There she goes, Stephanie. TT, they were just asking about you. <laughs> so, y'all. You knew, Christine? Hey. Are you subscribed and your notifications on? Well, your notifications got to be on if you got alerted that I'm live. But are you subscribed is the question. If you heard about that, you need to watch the channel. I'm not going to explain that. You need to watch the channel, Kiki. Okay, y'all. So, boom. Thank you. Okay, so let me warn you about my ex. I'm going to go, and I need to know about your ex, why y'all need to warn the next bitch about your ex. Hey, Malachi, are you feeling better? So, I'm going to go first, and then y'all go. So, um... Y'all get off one place to go to the next, ain't it? Uh, let me see. Let me start. My ex was very sneaky, manipulative, um, lying, and had too, too many hidden agendas for me. And I just couldn't deal with it. And I just felt like um, it was just more so like, What's your motive with me then? If you if you got all these hidden agendas, what's up? Like, why you so, like, anti when it comes to me and what I got going on? Or you for me for certain stuff, but then other stuff is like, you don't want no parts. And so, I just feel like putting myself in that type of situation, it just wasn't, was something I just didn't want to do. 
and, and engage myself in and be and no longer be a part of. So I had to make some moves and I had to make moves in a way that I didn't think I would be able to. Like I made the move, but the way I did it, it shouldn't have went like that. I felt like it should have just been like move around. We have a mutual understanding and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. So, I feel like with anybody that's with my ex, I wish you well. Because that shit is like a headache. That shit is like very depressing. Like, it's very depressing. The vibe was off. The energy was off. It was just like bipolar all around you know what i'm saying and it's just something i just never want to associate myself with like even now if i see red flags about a situation i already affiliated myself with i'm already on edge like nope i'm not putting myself back in that i already witnessed this from this person not doing that so what what signs about your ex um what i say they was toxic uh some ways was toxic very much so yeah let me hear about y'all exes like what what happened with y'all with you and your ex why y'all not together did you leave them or did they leave you or what happened and for those who on here thinking it was about something else y'all messy this is girl talk FYI, that's what y'all miss. So that's what we talking about. My ex was a cocaine user, and I didn't find out till later. Oh, he was doing crack. How you find out? Did he steal from you, or did he leave like residue behind, or what happened? Damn, crack <laughs> If y'all hear somebody in the back and it sound like a man, don't tell low. My friend here till he come home. He was lying and cheating, son of a gun. How did you find out he was lying and cheating? Had to leave because he was a cheater and verbally abusive. Oh, shit, bitch. Did he hit you? Liar, sneaky, drunk, powder head. <laughs> Want to fight and didn't understand when. Oh. Hey, Maria. My ex a drug dealer and he was lying to me. He got someone pregnant. Oh! <gasps> Mine was very Oh my god These comments coming too fast Wait a minute y'all <laughs> But you want my life I cannot Hold on Ouch So I turn the radio All the things that you Love there Okay, I'm gonna read them from here. Um, so he got somebody pregnant, Christina. How did you find out? Did she come to you about it? Um, Jessica, you ran. I didn't have an ex. Mine passed away while we was together, so I moved on. Oh, Abby, what happened, girl? I mean, my ex had a birthday party. He didn't tell me he had a baby on the way until Valentine. <laughs> Damn, I'm not trying to laugh, but that's so fucked up. You expected flowers and he gave you a fucking baby story. What he had going on? Mine was a user. Ooh, Tia, what did he use you for? What did you what did what did he use you for or what did you allow before you noticed that he was a user? No problem, Maria. I left. Lying, jealous, sneaky, controlling, even jealous of my own kids. Girl, too much. Oh bitch. I can um agree with you on that because I've been with somebody who was jealous of my child. And every time I turn around, it was all team them. And it's like, okay, my baby in upstairs or my baby in the room. What about let's go do something as a family. Let's do something together. And it was always so anti. You know what I'm saying? And I just was like, nah, I'm not finna fuck with you. Because I just can't fuck with somebody who just not really, like, my son is a part of me. If you can't accept my son, you damn sure can't accept me. You know what I'm saying? Christina, you said you had a gut feeling someone wasn't right. Did you, like, tell him to tell you everything? Or he just, like, was, like, fed up to where he just couldn't hold it in no more? 
My ex was physically abusive. We got into a fight one day in public. He wanted to get back into the car. After threatening me, I told him no unless he calmed down. He said, if I left, it was over and I left. He wasn't. He ain't give a fuck anyways if he did all of that. And in public, where y'all at Walmart? Girl. My ex was cheating on me with his half. With his half sister? Oh, they trifling. No, I didn't stay long to find out if he would. But I heard he beat the girl after me. And verbally abusive. Then he turned around and abandoned me. I finally healed, I believe. But we was just together at a room last weekend. <laughs> so are y'all back together? Or are you just messing around? Or are you using him for the beneficial? You know, like a friends with benefits type of relationship now? Or what y'all got going on? That's interesting. He was mentally, emotionally, and verbally abusive. Then turned around, abandoned you, and you was just at a hotel room last week with him? Baby girl, what you got to tell him? Come on with that one. Come on. I, I, I need to know more about that one. I I, I want to hear about that one. I can't write on to my now husband. I ran right to my now husband. How long y'all been married, Jessica? My ex was a cheater and don't want to do long-distance relationship because at the time I moved back to my hometown, Hey, Akira. Hey, Chris. Oh, thank you, TT. We actually was inside a Walmart. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to be funny, but that's so fucked up. I don't do anal. Oh, shit. What's going on? I don't do anal. <laughs> These comments going too fast. Wait a minute. I don't do anal sex, and I ran from my ex and never turned back. Plus, he was a cheater. Oh, so... So, he wanted to do that, and because you was against it, he said, fuck you. Is that what it is that what I'm getting? Girl, he said the girl was his cousin and his mom lied for him. He told the truth and said she wasn't his cousin. He took girls to his room, to his mom's house, and fucked them and his mom didn't care. Oh. You know what? I don't like parents like that. Like, Lord forbid, when duty get older, I mean, even the kids now, um, why these think I literally if they had somebody coming over a little boy coming over and i knew that they were serious in a relationship i'm not gonna allow that little side nigga to come to the house because we not we not no um boys and girls club or community center we not playing them type of games i'm not gonna air my kids business out but i'm gonna be like uh she got something going on right now or no means no this our house hell no mm -mm. girl he told me his cousin girl he told me he told me cousin, or my cousin. He was the only one. Uh, mine was good in the beginning till our first one was born. Then he was doing crack and beat me once. And he promised to change. I stayed, had two more kids with him. And so, Christine, are he, is he still whooping you? Or is he still beating on you? Even after y'all, you know, or did you leave him? He got in an accident and I met someone three years later. Mmm, Abby. God bless you, sweetie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But before his tragic situation, was y'all good? Like, was y'all on good terms? My ex threatened to shoot my family. Then he, then she liked my cousin. Then we was best friends at first. But when we broke up, she posted my cousin and everything. And she liked, Janiyah, what's going on? Damn, girl, you ignoring me. I'm hurt. Sarah, what you got going on? Hey, tell me your life, too. Tell me your story. What's, warn me about your ex. Why should I be warned? Uh, Queen. Well, I don't know. I just texted him last week and told him I was at a room in my hometown. And that's when he called me, asked me to come see me. And you know what happened a few days later. He texted me to ask me, was I okay? So, Queen, are y'all just cordial for the moment and y'all don't know where y'all relationship going to go? Or y'all just really taking things one step at a time? Because sometimes you could be with somebody and y'all move too fast and then y'all leave each other. But then at some point, y'all come back into, you know, into, what you call it, babe? Like, like, y'all come back together and it could be better than what it was before. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, Sarah, it's not intentionally that I'm ignoring you because I'm not ignoring you intentionally. These comments are really going fast, so I promise you I'm not ignoring you. But if you would like to engage into the conversation that we have and warn me about your ex, that will be interesting because I don't warn y'all about my ex. Mine was very, very, and you know what? My ex was very, very negative. Everything was just negative. And then, like, if it didn't revolve around that person, it was like, fuck what I had going on or fuck my situation. Like, I don't like a selfish person because I'm not selfish at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ew. He had a girl at his sister house and she answered his phone. Candace. When she answered the phone, how did you react? Like, did you, like, go off or did you, like, just, like, laugh it off and thought it was a joke? Darlita, you just joined. Hey, girl. Hey. The topic um today is, um let me warn you about my ex. So, I told everyone about my ex and I warned them about my ex. So, let me hear about your ex. Like, what happened? Why y'all not together no more? Um, if y'all, you know, still messing around, fairness, like, just tell me your situation as to what happened with your ex. My ex got his karma because my half sister left him for his uncle. That's still messy, though, Stephanie. Damn, that's like sharing. I can't share. After him, I've been single nine years by choice. Christina, do you think about um getting back with people? Or, like, do you think about mingling at all? Or you just want to be single from now on because of what he put you through? Um, Oh, Christine, you left him? So what happened was me and my ex kept breaking up and getting back together. So when we broke up the last time, she liked my cousin and posted her. And my cousin was uncomfortable. She was crying and scared. Janiya. So I'm assuming... Mm. It's just too much going on. Too much sharing and shit. Y'all don't think about STDs or... I mean, ooh, child. No, we don't be talking. I have been on his phone plan since 2018 when we was together. He continues to pay my phone bill each month without talking to me. I would love to get back with him. I'm lonely. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. I think, queen, queen, listen. I'm not... I'm not being, now hear me out, bitch. I could, now, if you on this channel, you my bitch. We friends, bitch, whatever, right? I feel like with this situation, you have been on his phone plan since 2018. Now, if y'all agree with me in the comments, back me up now. If not, tell me why. But, bitch, that's no excuse to still talk to him because you've been on his phone like, no, it's called get on your own shit. And let him know that you don't need him. Ain't no lonely shit. It's okay to be lonely, but don't make a nigga feel like you need him. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you say? I still feel empty and lost without him. You not happy? Oh, I, are you depressed? You depressed? Where you live at? You depressed? We need to go have a drink. I need a drink. You got some wine? We finna get some wine, babe. We need some wine. We need some wine. Because I don't like that. Don't settle for no nigga. Don't do that. Don't make you feel like, don't make him feel like you, like he probably like doing his shit, doing him. And now here you go moping and crying over him. And he like, he like for you to feel stuck like that. Cause he can feel like he that nigga. Like he got you right where he wants you to be. He know that if you call him, you running. You know what I'm saying? No, make that nigga run for you. Make that dog walk him. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for a motherfucker to like, you know what I'm saying? Because no, it, it, it's just like no. Um, yeah, they do got some bold ass exes. I told y'all my comments moving too fast. Hold on, now I'm with the man of my life 14 years. Okay, nope, I want to be single. Why, Christina? Do you like? Yes, I went out because we was together since high school, and now he's trying to come back to me. Candace, are you with somebody right now? What's going on? Just come on. Confused. Stephanie, Sophie, what you got going on? What you talking about? I had to put in order protection on him. He kept threatening to kill me if he saw me with another man. He was stalking me and sneaking in my backyard. Damn. Do you still got the order protection against him? He sound real crazy. And sometimes them order protections don't work. Let me tell you, I had some on some people too. Let me just start there. And that shit didn't work. If anything, it made them even more crazy. Because they thought... 
I mean, it's just a piece of paper, and, and honestly, the police don't come fast enough anyway. So they don't give two fuck. And then if you don't show up in court, when it comes time to, you know, place the um, permanent restraining order, it's like they, they drop the case. You know what I'm saying? So it's like domestic violence is not as serious. It's not taken serious for many um, sometimes the female just doing it because she's scared and don't know how to, you know, get this nigga in control. So she feel if she go to the police, he gonna get in control. But in reality, that don't make a nigga get in control. If anything, it make a nigga feel like, okay, now you, now I'm gonna show you I'm not scared of the police and I'm really finna whoop your ass. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's really scary because some nowadays domestic violence, you dead, bro. Like you, it's not enough time to call 911 or when you call 911 they don't take the cases serious like they should and i feel like that's so scary that's so scary like if somebody in milwaukee if i'm not mistaken they found her body dead they didn't we hear about that they found her body in a um basement or something her boyfriend shot her and then there was another dude um i guess the girl kept antagonizing him and he killed himself and then turned around and killed her no 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 he killed her he had the baby dangling over the banister and then he killed himself. And he, he told his son, he said a prayer. He told his son he loved he loved him. And I'm like, dude, this shit is scary. Like this really happening. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to be serious and, and, and take that shit for real. If y'all gonna be done with a motherfucker, be dumb, but don't keep playing with their mind. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Cause now y'all just playing. Yeah, you got to go and say no contact under no circumstances, no third party, no none of that. Just, just, and if y'all got kids together, that's even worse. You know what I'm saying? Try to get it to where it's a mutual understanding because y'all got kids together. A motherfucker could be like, oh, I want my son or I want my daughter and then meet up with you. And then they don't even, they don't even be wanting a kid. They be wanting to see what you got going on, be in your business. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been in them type of situations before, so I know how it is. Or I got people that I know that been in situations like that. And they be like, okay, now what do I do? And it's like, well, if you're going to keep entertaining them, you might as well be with them. But if you're not, cut that shit off. Don't answer no calls. Don't, like, you got to be in control at some point in your life. You can't let no nigga or no female control you under no circumstances. Because the moment you do, everything after that is going to be a domino effect. And they're not going to take you serious. And that's just being honest. They just not. I had to learn the hard way. Like, I done got my ass whooped. I done got hit in my shit from a nigga. I done got my dough kicked in, smothered, all type of shit. Because I thought that I can win when it comes to a nigga. And it's like, you can't win with that shit. You got to really be on some. If you going to be done with this motherfucker, don't call him when you drunk. Don't call him when you just lonely. No, fuck dude. You got to think about what he put you through and what you currently going through and what he, how he feel about you. Because if a motherfucker feel like you they doormat, they not going to take you serious. They not. I mean, I just can't see them taking you serious after all that time. Like, I just can't. Mm -mm. Dude, these comments going so fast. Hold on. Let me go back up. I don't want to ignore y'all. Nah, for real. I'm not who I used to be. I do be happy, but now, but not how I am when he was around. Queen, what draw? Queen QB, answer this really quick. What draws you to him to be so addicted to him the way you are? Don't please. Don't, I hope it ain't no kids on here. Please don't say. Don't say that. Don't do that. Oh, God, I know how this all feels. I've been dealing with this shit for 14 years. Step Sophie, why you been dealing with it for so long? Are you tired of going through it and you just don't know how to get out of it? What's going on? Where y'all friends at to be like, bitch? No. If I have somebody that's a friend to me or somebody that's close to me and they not happy genuinely within themselves, first of all, in order for your mate and you to be happy, you got to be happy within yourself. And if you not, Something got to change. Because I can't make you happy and I know I ain't happy. We got to figure something out. You got to add to my happiness. You can't take shit away from me. I got a whole husband too. Damn, this shit going fast. Hold on.
hang because of the dishonesty, cheating, lying, and game. So, Christina, do you think about going to a girl sometime? Now, I'm not sharing neither the vitamin D. Mm -mm. My doctor said I don't get enough of it. <laughs> so now, I like my best friend, but she don't want me. But when I see her, I think I should show her I want her. I still have feelings. Give me advice. Wait a minute. You like your best friend? How long y'all been best friends? Because sometimes when you a best friend, maybe that best friend friendship shouldn't be tarnished into a relationship because... You might think that best friend relationship gonna work and bitch, it don't. Hey, best friend. So, Janiah, tell me more about this situation. How long y'all been best friends? What about your best friend that you like? Go get some Frenchies and chill. What's that? Yes, I'm single, waiting on a man to send me a good man. Mmm. Yeah, it worked. He back off. He's scared to lose his freedom. He loves his PS5 too much. Oh, he's still a kid. That's what that is. He's still a kid. Oh, my God. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You never know what the next woman is going through. I want a relationship, but everything shine and go. That's true. That's true. That is so true. He said he doesn't want to see our kids, so it's a done deal. Okay, well, if he don't want to see your kids, then what you do is, depending on your situation... You just move that accordingly that's best for you and your kids. Don't think about how he going to feel after the fact. Don't be boo-hooing because that's the father of your kids. No, fuck that. If he told you out his mouth, he don't want to deal with you or your kids, you do what you got to do for you and yours. Because if that was me, oh, you said what? You ain't got to tell me more than one time because I'm out. And I probably was already out. I was just waiting on your confirmation to let you know, hey, I already done made that move, partner. <laughs> See you when you're ready to see your child. And, and, and it be that. You don't got to be baby daddy or not. Don't stress no nigga. Don't let, don't like, don't stress over no nigga. I would never. I'm staying single after 14 years of mental and emotional games and hurt. Even made, oh, bitch, wait, what happened? Even made me get an abortion. Now I'm 30 with no kids, no friends. Because he stopped me from being... Uh-uh, 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 Sophie, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. I, I had that experience too. A motherfucker I was with didn't want me to be with my friends. Or every time I would be talking to my friends, this, oh, you messing around with them. Oh, what y'all got going on? Oh, you talk to your friends more than me. And it was always more so like... What the fuck you got? What's your agenda? No, 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 no. Wait, what you doing? Because why you accusing me of messing with my best friends and you ain't... Where your friends at? Let's start there. This person didn't have friends or they have friends, but they was so, like, secretive. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker ain't want me to know who they cousins was. And it's like, if, if you so secretive like that, when it comes, or if you secretive, period, I already know you don't fuck with me. Because if you got to have any type of secrets when it comes to me, and I'm an open book, we not fucking around. We not fucking around. Because my mind going to be fucked up. Because every time you do something or you, you think to do something, I'm going to be like, okay, what about A, B, and C? What about this? Because you all up in my business. Now I'm going to be in your business. But at some point in your life, when you get older and that shit just so repetitive throughout your younger years it's like dude i don't even care no more you're gonna do what you do baby i'm grown i don't need you and that's a that's another thing ladies we gotta let niggas know and if you gay hey that's you too hey i, I don't been with a girl before i thought it was green on the other side no actually it's two times worse bitch because they don't mess with they the, the nigga and the girl so hey double the trouble but hey let me tell you something so when it comes to stuff like that, you got to let people know. You don't need them. You want them. That's the difference. Never let somebody feel like you need them to be happy. You need them to, you know what I'm saying, stand on your own two feet. No. You want them. 
and you want them to add on to what they got and they can add on to what y'all you got so y'all can become one and be better you know what i'm saying and be i want to say the next jgz and beyonce or the next ari and money back just be y'all you know what i'm saying don't try to be what the media wants y'all to be be y'all and keep people out your business you ain't got to do all that i had my door kicked in too by my ex yeah me too yeah. And you know what? Honestly, let me tell you something. When when he did kick my door in, me being young, I was like, oh, he crazy about me. Yeah, bitch, that was funny at first. Until the door really got kicked in and then I seen the repercussions after that because it wasn't funny anymore. When somebody physically put their hands on me, that's not funny anymore. Even vandalizing something that I had to pay for after the fact. That's not funny anymore because I'm not a police type of person, but now I got to deal with the police behind this because not only did I probably trigger you to do it, but you really did it. And then I kept telling you I was done with you. And then you turned around and you thought that I was going to jump back to your defense even after the police. No, let me tell you something. Once the police get involved, I'm not fucking with you no more because I already know I put myself in a bowl of hot water. So I'm boiling right now. So, cause I don't know what you finna do to me. I had a nigga who done fought me in front of his own mama in the front yard outside with everybody. And I just was mind blown from that. Like, choke me the fuck out. Like, nah. Niggas weird, dude. All because you don't want to be with them no more. I'm cool. I am cool. <sighs> yep they gonna walk all over you i really don't know how i can answer that he's a nice person when he isn't mad queen you might have to find you a nigga that's gonna make you forget about him or you just might have to elevate and level up in life to know that you can look back at a situation and be like you know what dude was cool but he wasn't on my level you know what i'm saying I'm not saying dog him out. Who the fuck is this emailing me from there? I don't know who that is. But you can't allow him to make you feel like you like right now you his doormat. I'm not being rude or me, me. You're his doormat right now because he know that the same way he left you, that's how you gonna be when he come back. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Nah. He stopped me from having contact with my friends when I was 17 because I was in love. And young and i listen okay but sophie even though he stopped you now are y'all back friends you and the girl or are you still with the boy so you just still can't have no friends because how long are you going to allow somebody to control you but then when you still when you allow somebody to control you for so long that shit becomes like you immune to that so it's like you don't know nothing else like you got to get back in the real world it's like being institutionalized you know what i'm saying you don't know nothing else but jail so when you get back out in the real world, you got to crawl before you walk. You got to start all over again. I miss my senior prom because of him. Oh, You know, every time I think I had it bad with a nigga, I listen to y'all stories or somebody else's story. I be like, damn, she had it bad. You know what I'm saying? I have been in an abusive relationship. I stayed for a year. I had to escape. I had to leave when... His ass was asleep. I changed my number and moved somewhere I, he didn't know about. Good. Now, Olivia, now, has he tried to contact you since you left? Or, like, how did it work? Because, girl, the nigga sleep. I, did you take stuff? Did you make noise? Like, I think I would have been scared. Like, oh, bitch, he might hear me if I, you know, drop my purse or my keys dangling. Like, how did you leave when the nigga was asleep? Unless he was just deep sleep. He said he wasn't going to miss work for court to make visitation arrangements to see his kids. Fuck them. On um, to the next. I'm going to file for child support in a few years and let it add up. No, I've been filed for child support now and you get your backpack. Boom. <laughs> That's how you do that. Now, me personally, you know, um, I don't. If a father is doing what they supposed to do. I don't feel like back pay is necessary. I just feel like that's just some bitter shit. I'm not saying all situations are bitter, but me personally, I didn't put my son's father on back pay. I didn't because I just felt like you gonna do what you want to do as a father, but back pay, that's just something. that like Especially if you was there the whole time and then things transpire as he became older, I'm not gonna put you on back pay. Especially if I know how to get my own bag, no. Nah. 
that's just going to add on to what I'm already getting. You know what I'm saying? So back pay, I feel sometimes mothers can be bitter. Depending on the situation. But me personally, I just want to do it. You're giving great advice. I'm going through a breakup, but just listen to what you're saying. It's helping me. Oh, Baba Shuka. I hope you get out of whatever it is you're going through. You know who I listen to when I'm going through something? Especially around them breakup times. I listen to Anne Marie handle it. I listen to, um, I need some more sanitizer. I listen to, uh, Mary J. Blige, My Life. I still listen to that. Um, I listen to, um, a lot of, like, people when I'm going through or and when I have went through you know situations like that because it was just hard you know what I'm saying and I felt like I couldn't talk and have a voice at that time so that song was a voice for me even if I cried to it you know what I'm saying it, it just let that side of me what I was going through it was like they talking for me they understand what I'm going through you know what I'm saying so that helped me too so sometimes music can help you that's right. A real man never takes from you. A real man. That's too, That's true, TT. That is so true. That's true. He used to hit me and then try to take me shopping, buy me expensive gifts, give me money. I thought it was okay till I realized my life was better than having black eyes with a Gucci bag. You okay? I'm not laughing. I'm never laughing at the next person's pain. Hold on, y'all. Then drop my top. I'm never laughing at the next person's pain. But... When it's, that's true. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to stuff like that, having the Gucci bag with a black eye, that shit ain't worth it. That shit is not worth it. It's not. I'd rather have a Gucci bag and I be, ain't no money in it because all my bills paid. And guess what? I'm, I'm stressed. I'm, I'm stress free from a nigga. But I know that. The next checks to come, I ain't got to depend on no nigga. Them my checks. So if I want to put them all in my Gucci bag, whether it's real or fake, baby, it's mine. And I don't got to prove nothing to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I like this conversation. Y'all like this conversation? I like it. Um, I spent six years of my 20s with him. He was much older than me. I became so dependent on him. I'm 27 now trying to figure out who I am again. So six years... Of your 20s, okay. He much older. How much older is he, Baba Shuka? Because <laughs> sometimes these old ass men can be very manipulative. It can sound good in the beginning. They get you where they want you when they chew your ass up and spit you out like bubble gum. I need me some gum. I ain't got no gum. I had my trident all day and my smock on. Got no more. There ain't no gum over there. I need to chew my gum. Uh, my last ex we used to work together he quit because he didn't like none of my friends okay how can you work with your like how can you work with your spouse I don't think I can do I cannot work with my husband cause I'm gonna wanna know you wanna take a break you wanna both call out today <laughs> we can't do that uh, and if I'm mad at him I damn sure don't wanna see him at work cause they gonna be like damn why she mad at him don't worry about it at least if I'm at work, if he texts me, I ain't got to reply right away. But, man, I can't dare work with my spouse. I couldn't do no shit like that. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Hey, ho. Best friend, I love the fact you so honest about what the fuck you been through. Your past and future. Yes, best friend, because I got to. It's hard, especially when we have been intimate for four years. His excuse is, I need to learn how to obey him. Oh, bitch, wait a minute. Are you his wife or, his, or are you his spouse or his child? Because do he talk to his mama like that? Let me tell y'all something. I learned. Oh, my God, I just came. Can you give a summary? Claire, we talking about, um, warn me about your ex. I told everybody about my ex and what i went through so i'm just like curious to know about y'all ex what y'all went through um so yeah let me tell y'all what i learned as a 
a little, as a young girl, I won't say little girl. As a young girl, I witnessed situations, you know, um, that I thought abuse was okay. I thought that if you stayed, that was okay because you've seen your parents do it. I thought that um, if you let a nigga use you the way he wanted to, that was okay because you've seen your parents do it. I thought that, um, you know, shacking up with a nigga, um, having your kids around niggas was okay. But at the same time, it was just more so like, um, I remind you of your cousin, Courtney. <laughs> um, I just knew that. It was okay for the moment, but as I got older, I just knew some shit I thought was okay and I tried to deal with it, it just wasn't fitting with me. You know what I'm saying? And um, I always knew that the way a guy treats his mom is how he's going to treat his daughters and his wife. And I feel like if a nigga, I've been with a nigga who done disrespected his mama and I was like, even if you mad, you gonna disrespect your mama, call her a bitch. Damn. And at first I was like, well, shit, that ain't me. But then it's like, as you get older, it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This nigga done call his mama a what? I done had it to where my ex called her mama a bitch. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. What you just said? You know what I'm saying? And it's like out of anger, but it's like I could never. Like, are you for real? So... I say this to say that when it comes to these guys, us ladies have to know, like, if a nigga disrespecting his mama, you ain't far from it. It's just a matter of time before you push him to how she, because she know him. She had him. She know how to push his buttons and trigger him. So it's like, if you could trigger him the way his mama can, he bound to call you a bitch too. And the day he call you a bitch, you better not stay. Because that's not cute. We don't play them type of games. I don't even play that shit with my husband. My husband, he not going to think to even think that shit cute to call me no bitch. Or, yeah, this my bitch. No, he don't. <laughs> Baby. That's not cute. Yeah, my bitch at the crib. What? Even when he's singing a song and it say something about my bitch. If I'm in the car or we around, you better not say no shit. Like, you better skip over that part and just be quiet. <laughs> Be in my line. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? So that bitch word and how niggas treat their mama, make sure y'all pay attention to shit like that because that plays a part. Girl, I had to leave everything. I had to start over. I took a small bag of clothes and ran out that house fast as hell. And you was not wrong. And I would have took the Gucci bag, y'all. <laughs> I would have took that. <laughs> yeah, I sure would. And I will. Yup. Hey, Katrina. He lied to the cops on me. He lied to the cops. Well, I mean, hold on. He lied to CPS on me, but the case was closed. I'm going for back pay because he hasn't been a good father in general. Damn, he done went to... That's bold. CPS, the child protective people. You know CPS here in Texas is the energy people. But CPS, child protective services... Bitch, that's a whole nother level. Like, you're not finna call CPS on me and you putting, not me, but you not. Okay, when niggas, when baby daddies try to hurt the mama, y'all not hurting the mama. Y'all hurting the kids. Don't y'all think about that? Y'all don't know that. If a baby daddy on here, don't you know that? You not hurting your baby mama. You hurting your kids. You stupid. Why are you doing that? Why? That's backwards to tell. So then you rather the system have your kids than a baby mama. Even though you don't like her, but you know she a good ass mama. You rather the system have them, they get separated, they go to Bumble fucking Bumble Bee house, go to um Auntie Karen and all of them house, not your family members, but somebody else who gonna probably slave them, beat they ass, do them even worse. But you don't want your baby mama to have them because you that bitter, so you gonna call CPS? What the fuck type of shit you got going on? I would never, ever, ever. Mm -mm. A nigga call CPS on me You ain't gotta worry about me no more Cause I'm changing my identity and the babies Name change please mm -mm. That's why I'm so glad y'all I The age I am I promise I'm so glad I only have one Baby that I pushed out Nine years Baby I can't even tell you That I wanted to have other kids Because I never was the type to be like Oh I'm gonna have a baby 
I'm going to have this many kids. And I want, like, uh-uh. Even the niggas I was with, in the beginning, it's like, oh, I want a baby. But then you see their ways, and you like, bitch, no, you better keep that your legs closed. Clink, clink, don't don't you dare. stay on. You better stay on that birth control. Matter of fact, go back to the doctor to see if that shit's still working. Bitch, don't. You better not. I said it to myself plenty times. I don't want no kids. <laughs> I ne my oh, my charger. My biggest fear, y'all, was having two baby daddies. I ain't want it. Two baby daddies, two them, two baby daddies, double the trouble. Then nowadays, baby daddies don't be having the baby daddies don't be even having. Like I be wanting it like. My baby daddy and our first baby, and we ain't gonna have no kids by nobody else, bitch. Bye. That's not the norm nowadays. Okay. So now that I'm married, my baby daddy is my husband. Well, no, no, no. My husband has children, but I bet you me and his baby be the last one. <laughs> I'm not playing those type of games. And then I, I have to say to myself. Well, what's the max I'ma have? What's the max kids can he have? Well, he can't have no more than one. Then I found my husband. I said, oh, he can't have no more than how many you got? Okay, that's it. We ain't having no more. Because I just can't deal with baby mama drama bullshit. I know myself. Drama bullshit. I know myself. I can't deal with no shit like that. I just can't do it. I can't do that one. Baba Shuka, he 53? And you 26? Oh, Baba Shuka, how you get... What you had going on? Like, did he meet you on a date line? Bitch, tell me some OT. Do you remind me so much of my cousin, Courtney? I can't do it. We'll be in the employee's bathroom. Oh, Olivia, you trifling, girl. But you ain't wrong. I'll be like, hey, don't you want to take a break? I ain't gonna say you know, I'm just I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm so late, but hi D looking beautiful as ever. Glad you're back. Hey Kiki. We used to work for Publix. I met him through my mom and he was my ex-boyfriend. I cut all ties with him. You know what's so crazy? Publix, I went for the first time in Orlando and it's so beautiful. It reminds me if you're from Milwaukee or the Midwest, they got like a pick and save in the syndix. Real upscale. It reminds me of that. But I won't fuck with police because they can't cop for no fucking reason. Man, I've never been in a relationship but had some very close interactions online. They were pretty pet. Oh, Claire. Uh, you only do online dating? What you, what you on Tinder? POF? Facebook? You like my scrub top? I got this from um Walmart. Sure the full D. I gotta go get me some more. Where can I get some, like, some real cute scrubs from? Like, I like to just be neutral. Like, yesterday I wore a, a, a royal blue one. Tomorrow I'm going to wear a gray one. Um, I like the PD or the uh, kids ones for the tops. But I can be regular. It don't matter. But I like that. That was a red flag. Yeah, it sure the fuck was. He came to my job wanting to fight. Damn. You got niggas wanting to fight you at your job? That's a motherfucker that wants you to lose everything you got, including your money. Nope. To everyone in the comments, this is crazy. This is the crazy girl you have dated that makes up lies about after he... Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Now I see through the bullshit. But, Christine, if somebody was to come sweep you off your feet and give you a chance, would you do it? It's Chris, Christina is uni robe, a troll or a subscriber. I think that's a troll, so go ahead and um get that removed up out of there. That got to be a troll because I don't know what you got going on. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Mona. Thank you. D, where you get your... I told you Walmart, girl. I think it was like $16. Yeah, it was right there by the scrubs. I had to look all through them. It was right by the scrubs. Or right in the scrubs. My daughter and son call CPS. 
Right, my daughter and son called CPS too because he was married and his wife didn't want y'all. <gasps> Damn, people that call CPS kind of bold, bro. After I left, he tried to find me. He even went so far as coming to my job. I had to move to a different... Oh, you did take the bag? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to work with my husband because that's the only time you have a peace of mind. That's true. That is so true. I disagree with what you said. Said most a lot of men can have much respect for the mother, but when it comes to someone they dating, they will call you every name under the sun. That's true, but so many but at but that can be true. But me personally, I never seen a man disrespect his mama and then when me and him not into it, he don't disrespect me. No, he's bound to disrespect me. If he don't disrespect his mama in front of me, he ain't got no respect for his mama. And he, and and then, you know, at first I was like, well, maybe his mama didn't raise him. His granny did. But I looked at it like it don't matter. That's somebody that brought you into this world. You know what I'm saying? And I thought it was a difference, but I feel like it's not no difference. I wish Kalani would call me on my, I will be his ass. Is you crazy? Boy, no. Mm-mm. Duty, I can't, y'all, first of all, I can't even get duty to cuss. Let's start there. Baby daddies be acting like bitter baby mamas now. That's true. That is so true. Girl, every dime he give me, I was saving that for a move. I had my apartment lined up fully furnished. Olivia, we on the same page because, baby, listen, I done learned my lesson. I done dropped the ball so many times when it came to money and people that you can't pay me to do no shit like that no more. You can't pay me to just get my last dime and be like, we completely broken. I mean, like, to the next payday. Because there's no such thing, baby. It's called budgeting and being on top of the game and being ahead of the game. So just in case a motherfucker try to think they playing with you, they going to play they self. You know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because now that I'm married, I literally put my husband on do. Come on, these shorts. I literally be putting my husband on like, nope. <clears throat> We ain't playing them type of games. We gonna be one head of the game, one step ahead, because you just never know. I see you wearing that beautiful scrub. You do hair. People that wear scrubs do hair. They do, they wear scrub. No, I don't do hair, sweetie. And no, I am not a nurse. I'm 36 years old. I'll be 37 May 14. I am loving my life. And you can continue to love your life. And you're going to continue to elevate regardless of if you were a nigga or not. At this point, your money is your nigga. So cherish him. What's your preference in men? Like y'all like tall, slim, light-skinned men? Or y'all like niggas that's like with the belly? Y'all know... Some of these females like the fat niggas. Because don't nobody else want the fat nigga. But some of them like the niggas that want, that everybody want. Them the ones I like. I like the ones I... Oh, I know that bitch don't want him. Give me him. And I get him every time. So it's like, which ones y'all like? Y'all like the niggas that's like... Playing hard to get like, nah, little shorty I ain't... Or y'all like the niggas that's soft gonna let you walk over them. Like, what type of niggas y'all like? Yes, deep. He pulled up, wanted to fight me. Then a few weeks passed. He found out where I was staying. Showed up, wanted to fight me and my boyfriend. Damn, Jedi, what's your boyfriend say? Did your boyfriend fight him back? What do you think about a man still talking to his baby mama, even if the kids are grown? And if the baby mama calls sometimes and it don't be about the kids, is that considered disrespectful to a relationship? Well, Katrina... It's all about their relationship history. Now, the time y'all been in... Re now, 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 let me ask you something. So, a man talking to his baby mama if the kids are grown. First of all, if the kids are grown, why aren't you calling... Why aren't... Why your baby mama still got to be in the middle of something? Your kids grown, you call your kids. Now, if you and your baby mama still talking when it comes to, you know, like important stuff like graduation, prom, dental... Or the doctor or some serious like that. Okay, that's one thing. But if y'all casually talking, 
I want to know what y'all got going on because what the fuck is y'all talking about that I can't be in, in cahoots with? Because I understand y'all had babies together, but the worst of the worst happened already. So y'all more than y'all y'all can have sex again, and I mean it happened already. Y'all had a baby, so why do you feel the need to talk to your kid's mother on a friendly level? I'm not saying be mean and stuff and not co-parent. But if you can't talk to her in front of me and have that type of conversation, then you can't talk to your baby mama when I'm not around. Because that's sneaky. That's just real sneaky. I don't like that. Patricia, I work seven days a week in the money fire. Patricia, what you do? I like tall, muscular. I like a man that respects me. Okay, but like, you like tall, muscular? Like, do you like light skin, dark skin, big belly? You like a nigga that's like flashy or like your ex was he like a flashy nigga or was he like a nobody like a, a um a lame like a jimmy neutron ass nigga like what type of nigga you like christina tall muscular what else you do nursing like cna work Y'all, I love lip gloss from Bath and Body Works. This is the only one I out. I, I won't put besides Carmex for my Carmex in. I'm not putting put nothing else on my lips. If it ain't Carmex, the cherry or the mint or Bath and Body Works, I'm not wearing it. So no disrespect to people that sell lip gloss, but if it ain't neither one of them, I ain't wearing it. hospital orthopedic technician i would love to be in the hospital but bitch when it comes to the elevators <laughs> i can't do it i don't care how good the money is okay i can't do it i can't i don't care if it's going to the next floor and i'm on the first floor we got to go to the second floor where's the emergency exit at so i can take the stairs to the next level Yes, give me that stairwell, please. I can't do the elevators. I have a private case on the weekend. You like working weekends too? See, I love working for the old people and the autistic children. I just feel like my heart just melts for them. I mean, my heart melts for a lot of people, but when it comes to them, like, I just have a soft spot. You know, and then... um. When I was in high school, I had to, I had got all my credits, so I had the opportunity to leave early. But instead, I took um, credits to work with the, you know, um, they was called Rainbow Buddies, and they was so they was some was autistic, some had you know physically handicapped disabilities, but they was just so sweet. I look forward to them every day. So I love working with autistic children. It's just like. And the older people playing their little puzzles and they bingo. It's just so sweet. I don't miss wiping ass, though. And all the showers and shit. I'm just so glad I don't got to deal with that. Woo, child. But I love it. I was a medical... What's wrong with the elevator? Girl, first... What's wrong with it? Now, if you know me, you know me in elevators and closed spaces and, and, and claustrophobia. Don't get along, honey. I done been stuck in the elevator many times to where I know that I'm not going to get no elevator. As soon as them doors close, my hands start sweating, heart beating fast, hyperventilating. I just can't do it. I won't even get on the elevator with my husband. I'm like, no, sir. No, thank you. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. I was a medical assistant. I now demand a man to respect me. No lying, no cheating. That's true. And Okay, how y'all feel about going through a man's phone? Look, we done got on one topic to another topic to another topic. But do y'all like this girl talk or what? My sister got stuck on the elevator when she was younger and my mom was pushing every button. See? See? That's why. See? Go read her comment. She, you see that? She look, you see that? Her, she got stuck. Her mama pressing all them damn buttons. That's why every time if I get in the elevator, if I have no choice, I literally be like, don't stand over there. Or even if it's somebody in there that don't know, I'll be like, can you not stand right there, please? <laughs> Girl, I ain't got no lot to tell. I ain't got no lot to tell. Okay. See? You pass out when you get in the elevator. See? 
Love the girl talk. Love the girl talk. Y'all like the girl talk? Boom. The men I like can be any color. Just have some Indian type of hair. Child spirit. What you want one of them mixed kids with the pretty hair so you can put all that shit in their hair with the baby hairs? <laughs> Listen. Um, I just want my baby to be beautiful, honey. Now, if she bald head, we gonna have to put some baby don't be bald on there. Y'all remember that? Baby don't be bald. We are gonna have to put some baby don't be bald on there with a little bobo. And a headband and we just gonna have to deal with it, okay? Uh, but if it's a boy... Him going to be so fat. I want my son to be so fat. Like, duty was big. I want my baby to be so chunky that he can't walk. Lo was like, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, yes, it's a very good idea. That means he'll be overly healthy. And what y'all think about breastfeeding until they three years old? Breastfeeding until three years old. So let me just say this. For those of y'all who are either going through a breakup right now or really just don't know which way to turn when it comes to a situation that y'all got going on, I really want y'all to find the strength to be able to get up, to have some self-control, and just know that the person that, if, if you look at me as an inspiration, as a, mo as a motivation to your life, I was once in your situation. I thought nobody could, I, I thought everybody was against me. I thought that, you know, when it came to a relationship, this is it for me. You know what I'm saying? I never want you to feel stuck. If you got to listen to a song, Anne Marie is a good person to listen to. Um, Mary J. Blige, I'm not sure how old you all are, but I'm sure y'all in my same, um, you know, age group. Um... I'm sure that, you know, uh, Tori Kelly, you know, you know, um, Jojo, you know, even Vito, you know, you got it. You, Vito is a very good inspirational uh, person to listen to when it comes to, um, here go my big boy. Say hi, Stan. Say hi. Boy, why are you doing all that? Say hi, Stink Stink. Okay, go do your chores. Then I can go right there. And we eating cauliflower pizza tonight. That's not made, but I don't know what school. Well, you got to do what I asked you to do first. And I shouldn't have to ask you every day. It should be a given at this point. So, um, thank you. Well, when it comes to the breastfeeding. Outside. Yes. When it comes to the breastfeeding, y'all can pump and then feed the baby. I mean, they don't got us. Who, child? No. So, um, yeah, Blueprint has some good songs. I just want y'all to not feel so like it's the end of y'all roast when it comes to, um, you know, relationship that's hard. Because take it from somebody who's been through hard relationships to where i literally thought it was the end for me like i was like man if this nigga don't want me i know nobody else want me and that was just the mentality i had because of the circle of people that i associated myself with you know what i'm saying so i feel like honestly i came a long way to it i know a lot of people be like girl i heard that before but no i i i i felt that same way before too i was like girl girl but i feel like if i can do it you can do it you know what i'm saying and i feel as though when it comes to being able to stand up on your own two feet and say regardless of a nigga i know i'm worth more than what he's telling me especially if he disrespecting you especially if he dogging you out especially if he ain't making you feel like you are you know appreciated you know i'm not saying he gotta bow down to you and be your flunky and be dumb no but i'm saying if he don't give you the same value that you give him when it comes to being you know his queen you know somebody the way he talked to his mama with the utmost respect how he cherished her he should do his wife the same way you know but it, it's just <sighs> sometimes it's hard for us women to see that when it comes to a man you know, I'm I, I'm told you can't help who you love, but I understand that to a certain point. You can love him, but you can love him from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Because there is no way 
I'm going to be able to even revisit the situations I did when I was younger. I can't even reconsider. Y'all know what's crazy? My ex, one of my exes to this day still comment on my social media. Still comment on my social media. Just to get my attention. Not in a, not in a disrespectful way. Not, not at all. It's just to get my attention. So that way he can, that, that way he can know that I know that he still watches me. Whether it's a comment on a video or, or um, a Facebook like or it don't matter. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I ignore it every time because it's like I once gave you too many chances to get it together and you still didn't get it together. So now that you see I'm in a better mindset, a better headspace, you see I ain't stressed out. Now you want me because you know that what you did couldn't get me in that mindset for too long you know what i'm saying and that's just what it is and i just want y'all to understand that whether you like look she said i walked away from a 15-year marriage house and all see it don't matter how long you've been with that person when you are fed up and you know you fed up and you tired of bending over backwards and feeling like you just at the end of your ropes baby just go it's not gonna hurt it, i mean it's not gonna make you a bad person it's not gonna make you feel like you gave up it's just on to another chapter you gonna close that chapter in your life and then it's another one open god ain't gonna put nothing on you that ain't gonna be that you can't handle you know what i'm saying and um i just want y'all to always know that i enjoy doing girl talk with y'all this was a good discussion and i just want y'all to know that don't beat yourself up so much about it it's okay you might not leave today you might not leave tomorrow but you're gonna take something from this and you're gonna think of your own you know mindset and how to go about that situation i just wish you well and if y'all ever need to like talk d I, I need advice on this i need to know what i'm doing on this i'm not gonna be team you just because you know i i you 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 follow me or you um subscribe to me i'm gonna be honest whether is team you or team them or i'm gonna just tell you what's right regardless of what because i don't want somebody to tell me what's right don't tell me fuck them because you want you my friend i don't, don't want to hear that because if you're doing it because you my friend in reality you don't want the best for me i want you to tell me what you feel is the best because maybe what i feel is not the best and then i can take what you telling me and then i can make it into a conclusion for that's best for me we might not can be together but maybe we can be, you know, co-parenting. Or maybe we could just be friends from a distance. Or maybe we just need that time apart where I can clear my head to see. Because sometimes you got to be out that mental space and out that, you know, bubble to see. Like, okay, bitch, I didn't need this nigga. All it took for was for me to get dressed real cute, throw on some fashion over shit, and do my thing. And then you're going to look back at that situation like, oh, I was with him. I was with you. No, nah, I can't do that. Like, you're going to know your worth. It might, you might not know it right away, but you're going to know it eventually. And you're going to be like, man, I'm glad I listened to D because it was something in that message she was saying that I had just had to listen to. Like, it's meant for y'all to be in this live today because... I bet you somebody going through something right now, a breakup, uh, a divorce, you know. I hope that y'all not going through nothing like that, but it's life. It, it happens. But if I got any good advice for y'all, it's just don't listen to naysayers. Don't listen to people who want the best, the worst for you. Listen to a motherfucker who going to tell you the truth regardless of what. If you got to listen to a song. Listen to a song. Maybe it's a message in the song. If you're a poem writer, write it down. If you feel like it's, you know, you need to go drink. Drink, but be responsible now. Don't drink and go mess that man car up. Don't drink and go call his baby mama. Don't drink and go um finding yourself back in the same situation you're trying to get out of. Don't be an emotional drinker. Be drink occasionally drink when you just want to get a different emotion from the situation you currently feeling no queen i'm serious because 
you deserve a lot. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm team. I'm all for women empowerment. Bitch, if you going through something with that nigga, fuck dude. Because, bitch, if you call me and say he hit you, bitch, I'm finna pull up. Because we finna both jump him, bitch. And we finna go out. We finna go eat. And if you finna go back and lay with that nigga, okay. But call me in the morning because I don't want to hear nothing he got going on. Because fuck dude. You know what I'm saying? But if you done dog that nigga out, you done burnt him, you done had a baby on him, you done did all type of shit, bitch, you wrong for that. Because why you got, why you putting that man through that? And sometimes that's why men go through stuff like that because these women put them through shit like that because of how hurt they be. Like two damaged people can't work with each other. You can be damaged but to a certain point. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to be out here just trying to be that bitch because you feel like you just entitled and empowered to that just that much because you've done told you've been told you got good pussy or good head or you it don't matter. The fact of the matter is you know what you're capable of. I need you to tie your shoes up and run that marathon because it's gonna be a long one. Now, if you feel like you and this nigga could work it out, work it out. But the right way. Don't work it out going on social media telling, trying to get advice from people. Because Boom Boom and, and, and Bumblebee them, they want to see you fucked up in a situation like that. Because they want your nigga. Or maybe they want you to feel how they was feeling. And you was ignoring them. So now you going through and they can laugh at your pain and hurt. Don't do that. Just do what's best for you. And... What's for you gonna be for you regardless of what? Regardless of a nigga, regardless of a relationship, regardless of a friendship, regardless of what 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 the man up above has for you is only for you. Don't try to include everybody. That's the problem now with, uh, with us. We be trying to include everybody in our happiness. E everybody can't be happy with us. That's only for us. And once he give you that happiness, cherish it, elevate, become better, and try to get a better circle. Because that circle you just got happy. That circle you just let go of, now you happy, you stay happy. Keep that circle and that bubble happy, even if it's small, even if it's just you and him. It don't matter. You happy, genuinely. Not because he bought you a Gucci bag. Not because he bought you um some Michael Kors shoes. Not because he done paid your rent for the year. Mm -mm, baby, I could do that myself. Do something for me that I can't do, which is love me unconditionally, regardless of a situation. Regardless of something you done, you know what I'm saying? Love me for me. Love me because when I'm sick, my nose running and I got a booger in my nose and you still love me. Love me that if I throw up because I'm too drunk, you ain't going to let people take advantage of me. And you going to make sure that I get home safe and you going to be the one to wipe my throw up up. And you going to be the one to make sure I'm in the bed and I ain't got to worry about am I going to wake up in a nigga car? Or I'm going to wake up in a bed next to the man that really loves me. Come on now, I'm talking to somebody, ain't it? I ain't had nothing to drink. This just me. You know what I'm saying? So I want us women to do better. I'm going to call y'all tomorrow. Now, what I am going to do is tomorrow, I think I should call somebody and we could talk one-on-one -on -one online and we can just go over certain scenarios too. So I can, you know what I'm saying, get other insights. Like, I'm gonna get, should I get a hotline so y'all can call in and we can do it like that? Should I do that? I'm going to tell my husband we got to go to T-Mobile. <laughs> that would be better. That would be nice. Y'all like that? Okay. So, boom. I got to talk to old mommy. And then we going to go from there. But in the meantime, I just want y'all... Like I said, go listen to Anne Marie. Go listen to um Mary J. Blythe. It don't gotta be all sad songs, even Layden Green. You know, um, some of those songs that I listen to be having messages for me. And I be feeling like, okay, they only talking to me. So I don't need to tell everybody, you know, this, that, and the third, my next move. No, just know that my next move is my best move. You know what I'm saying? And I'm all about women empowerment, regardless of what. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you guys, it's about 7.32 here. Um, and I am really about to go wind down because I have not wind down yet. Hey, baby daddy. Come here. 
I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> no, but for real, y'all, make sure y'all, you know, tune in. Um, tomorrow, a same time, six fifteen. Tune in. Um, tomorrow's topic is gonna be real good too because I I need y'all to know what's going on. So. As always, I'm Delari. Y'all popping in all that, you guys. I love each and every one of y'all. I promise y'all, I love y'all, regardless of what, because I feel like we in a relationship. Like, we done been through everything together. Y'all don't see me cry. Y'all don't see me laugh. You gonna say bye, Stink Stink? Say bye to my buddy. Bye. What you got going on? <laughs> no. You say bye to them? You had a good day in school? <laughs> hmm? Why yeah. your hands so cold? I was outside. Right. How y'all breathing? Good. Good. You want cauliflower pizza? Uh huh. All right. Well, give me a minute. He want to go ride his scooter. So, with that being said, you guys, as always, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what y'all think of this video. Turn on your post notifications because tomorrow I'm going to be calling y'all at 615 when I say calling y'all, I mean I'm going live. So answer the phone, answer the live when I get on here. So 6.15 tomorrow. Um, and what's tomorrow? Oh, I got a long day tomorrow, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So I love each and every one of y'all. I wish I had some wine right now because Patricia, you got me wanting to drink some wine. Matter of fact, what kind of wine are you drinking? I'm going to go tell my husband to give me some. What kind of wine are you drink? Thank you, TT. Actually, I'm going to text you. Because you know me and you talk. Um, have a good night, everybody. Be safe. Um, if that nigga stressing you out, just drink your wine, play your music. And sometimes when you play music in front of a nigga, depending on what music it is, he gonna get that message. You ain't even gotta say nothing. Just play that music loud. Blast that shit. He gonna be like, all right, bro, I already know what you want. Yup. Yup. <laughs> and my line. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off this live. It was nice talking to y'all tonight. I got to tweak my budget. Um, but I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Also, if you are not subscribed to our family channel, go on over to the Tony family. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And, yeah. We'll be up there um, on Friday. I really feel like we should go to the studio this week. What y'all think? Oh, shit. Bath and Body Works just sent me a thing for tomorrow now. Stella Rose Black. Good night. Good night, y'all. Good night. Bye. I love y'all. Bye.